Site reductive surgery and HIPEC is a surgical procedure used to treat cancers that have spread within the abdominal cavity. HIPEC stands for hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemoperfusion. Site reductive surgery and HIPEC is most useful for patients who have cancers that have spread within the abdominal cavity but have not spread outside the abdominal cavity or to other organs. It's also most useful for patients who have less aggressive cancers, for example lower grade appendix cancers, malignant peritoneal mesotheliomas, some ovarian cancers and in some selected patients with colorectal cancers. It also has to be used in patients who do not have too many comorbidities and can actually tolerate these kinds of operations. And lastly it has to be done in patients in which we can actually remove all the cancer and not leave anything behind. So there are two components to cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC. The first component is cytoreductive surgery in which the surgeon surgically removes all visible tumors from the abdominal cavity. Now since there can be a lot of tumor nodules in the abdominal cavity, this can in involve removing the peritoneal lining of the abdominal cavity but also taking out some organs from within the abdominal cavity in order to completely remove the tumors. The second component is hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemoperfusion. During the same operation, we place catheters into the abdominal cavity and then we circulate heated chemotherapy for approximately 100 minutes at 42 degrees centigrade. And the aim here is that the heated chemotherapy will then target any microscopic non-visible tumors within the abdominal cavity. In terms of low-grade cancers, which are not very aggressive, cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC can be a singular therapy and can improve survival. But for more aggressive tumors, it is often used in concert with other multidisciplinary treatments like systemic chemotherapy. And data shows that by doing it as a multidisciplinary approach, we can improve survival by adding cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC to the full cohort of therapies. Potential candidates for cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC are seen in a specialty clinic where surgeons are well versed with these kinds of procedures and they determine who is a good candidate for such a procedure. They are also then discussed at a multidisciplinary tumor board where we have surgeons, radiologists, pathologists and medical oncologists all involved to decide which patients are good and which patients are not good candidates for such procedures. At UPMC, we have gained significant experience treating patients with site reductive surgery and HIPEC. There are only a handful of institutions, both nationally and internationally, that do high volume site reductive surgery and HIPEC procedures, and UPMC is one of those institutions. It is very important to have this experience because these are not minor procedures, and there is a risk of 20 to 30 percent of developing some sort of complication postoperatively. Given our experience with treating such patients, we can manage these complications and give the patients the best possible outcome.